Hi, this is Justin with Social Networking Professor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an import file that you can use in order to import contacts into uh, multiple social networking sites. And so the first thing that we're going to do is, and this is how to do it in Excel, I'm going to do it here in Excel. So I have Excel open. You, if you don't have it open, you know, go to Files, Programs, and open up Microsoft Excel. Your version may look different than this. This is a little older version, but it shouldn't make a difference. The steps should be pretty much the same. The first thing that you're going to do with your blank sheet is just put in first name, last name, and email. And what you're going to do is fill these in, and I'm not going to keep you on the recording while I fill this in, but I'm going to fill it in with some information here. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and fill in some information. So I just put in a fictional person in here because uh, we don't really want to use other people's information on this. Now, the first thing that you're going to do after you have the information in, and you can put as many as you want in here, and this is why we're doing this is so that you can easily enter all the information once and then import it into your different files. By the way, I won't cover it in this video, but uh, you could also import it into your Outlook, Outlook Express, Gmail. A lot of files will, a lot of programs will let you uh, import this information. First thing I'd suggest that you do is go ahead and save it as an Excel sheet. You know, just hit save and save it wherever you'd like to save it. Test contacts. And then after you have it saved, and that's just because that way, if anything goes wrong, you can always go back to the Excel sheet. Uh, then we go to File, Save As, and the other thing I should note is you want to make sure you know where you're saving it. I'm saving this in the My Documents folder. Uh, if I was doing it for real, I'd probably have a folder in the My Documents folder just for this purpose, just so it's easy to find later. And we, the one that we want to choose is tab delimited text. There are two that are, are real common. You have common you have comma delimited text file, a CSV and tab. And as I recall it, one of the different programs, and I can't remember off the top of my head which one, doesn't doesn't use the CSV out of Microsoft very well. So you can play with different formats. I would use either a tab delimited, which ends up being a .txt file, or a comma delimited, which ends up being a CSV. And this is another reason to save it as an Excel sheet first. So I'm choosing tab delimited, and you'll see it automatically has the same file name I use for Excel, but a .txt, and that's fine. You can name it something else if you'd like. And then you hit save. It's gonna come up with a warning here, and this is normal. It's gonna say it basically can't do all the things Excel does within a tab delimited text file, and is that okay? And you hit okay. And then it'll say uh, basically the same thing again. And you hit yes. And that's all there is to creating an Excel sheet, using an Excel sheet to create a an import file. In the next video, I'll show you how to do the same thing using Google Apps. So if you're using Excel, you can skip the next video. Thanks.